Hey guys, super quickly before we go into the video, I just want to preface this by, by saying, first of all, this is our opinion and this is not a right or wrong type of video. And also, obviously, I've been thinking about this a lot, not just during preparation of this video, but also just for myself. And I've been talking to so many of my friends um, who are my favorite dancers. And although we have a lot of the same opinions, oftentimes they sort of come from different angles, different perspectives that I didn't, uh, that, that I didn't know, oh yeah, it, it's actually quite important. Or I find, oh, okay, so that's important to you. I, I don't, you know, I didn't know that. And I think it's super, super valuable because creating a connection is so much about emotions and I can't be arrogant enough in saying, okay, this is the list of the things that you need to do. So what I thought would be interesting was is gonna is is, is is to do some sort of like an interview style so this is going to be part one where me and Nat are gonna talk about like what I, what we feel but then we're gonna follow up with uh, more um, from other dancers that I really like um, and we'll see what they have to say as well which I think will be valuable for you guys because some of the so sometimes you know it you know we don't have enough empathy to really be able to understand someone um, to, that deeply and this is this is a this is a, I think a really good um, way for me to sort of explore the topic deeply but I don't want to pressure myself into just making like one concise video because I don't think it's it's even possible so this will be part one and we'll be making more parts soon enjoy the video so Nat what makes a great connection for you? Um, well, when I think about connection, I think mostly in terms of two things. The first one is a technical connection. So with a lot of good dancers or like artists, um, we always have a good technical connection in the sense that he knows exactly where to put his hands and as a follower or put his body and as a follower, I know how to connect with him and give him the right amount of tension. So the dance will flow really nicely because we always have good technical connection. But connection is not only technical, especially in dancing because you're, you're dealing with another human being, right? So it's like you have to be considerate to their bodies, their moods, how they're feeling, like how they interpret the music. So there's also that non-technical connection where you are connected to each other as individuals and being caring to each other, finding a way to connect and being present with each other, which I think is super important in connection as well. And that's why social dancing is so addictive and why we like to go out every night and dance with like multiple people as possible. It's because of that possibility that you might find someone who just really connects with you the music, your body, your mind, and like you just go to a different place and the dance is just so satisfying. To me, that's the two things, like technical and then the more like musical, emotional side of things. The human side of it, which I really enjoy. Okay, so what does connection mean to you, Kevin? Um, I think it's very important, especially if you're talking about social dancing. It's really important to enjoy the moment, the connection more rather than looking fancy, looking, you know, doing all these cool movements. I think when I social dance, I try to focus more on the, okay, um, the level of my follower is this, so I'm not gonna do like something that's like way above her level. So I'm just gonna do something simpler, but I will pay attention to the music so that it's, it's simple and musical. Um, I don't want to, you know, basically look amazing, look like do all these cool movements, but she's stressed because um, like you, you, you're doing something too complicated for her. And I think that's, that's a big difference between like doing videos when, when I do videos, you know, like obviously you have to showcase and then do some cool stuff. But then realistically in a social, we don't have much space. We don't really have, um, a lot of like opportunity to to like do everything that that we want so i just do whatever is musical and simple so that the both of us enjoy it because if if, if i do something too difficult then it might be you know stressful for her 
So I try, when I'm social dancing, I try to have a little bit of eye contact, um, smile. If, if she doesn't know the move and then they did it, I'm like, yeah. Like I, ha I have a little bit of, of that, you know, to encourage them because sometimes they don't know if I'm doing it, oh, did I do it right? So yeah, that's basically what I think social good connection is like.